If Oprah asked you this question. Okay, so here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? How would you answer? Oh, okay. What's up guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Eric. My name is Grace. This is a special video uh, because it's a start of a new series called Scripture in Focus. Now Scripture in Focus is all about teaching biblical truth with clarity. And how we do it is by giving you critical explanation or interpretation of a text in Scripture. And our purpose is to edify the body of Christ with the correct doctrine or the right doctrine. There's a lot of false doctrine out there. Um, but also our principal task is to protect believers from being tossed here and there by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness, in deceitful scheming. So let's get right into it. Now in this video, our scripture in focus is Matthew chapter 7 from verse 13 to 14. These verses are the actual words of Christ and they are part of the closing section of the Sermon on the Mount. Let's read. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Now, here are two ways, two gates, two destinations, and two groups of people. Christ is drawing the line as clearly as possible between the, the road that leads to destruction and the road that leads to life. Now, both the narrow gate and the wide gate are assumed to provide the entrance to God's kingdom. Two ways are offered to people. The narrow gate is by faith through Christ, the Bible says in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the narrow gate is by faith only through Christ, constricted and precise. It represents true salvation in God's way that leads to eternal life. Now the wide gate includes all religions of works and self-righteousness. There is no single way. It leads to hell and not heaven. Now I want you guys to watch a video of a famous Hollywood actor, stand-up comedian by the name of Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey believes in the wide gate and not the narrow gate. Watch this. There's no one one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. Because somebody watching another channel or taking another channel than you, they still getting entertained and they probably still getting to heaven. Okay, so here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? <laughs> If Oprah asked you this question. Okay, so here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? How would you answer? Oh, okay. Oprah, who is claimed to be a Christian. I, I am a Christian. That is my faith. I'm not asking you to be a Christian. If you want to be one, I can show you how says that believing in Jesus is not necessary. But it is not required. I have respect for all faiths. All faiths. When Oprah says that she has respect for all faiths, she is communicating that people of all faiths can be right with God. But obviously, 
Oprah isn't at all a trustworthy authority on this. One of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a then human how being do you please and, God? and many ways, no, but many paths no to what you call God. That and her path crazy. might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. When Oprah asked Joel Osteen this question. Okay, so here's the big question. Are there many paths to get to the one God? Osteen gave a convoluted answer. Well, I believe, Oprah, that there, I believe that Jesus is the way to the one God. But I believe there are many paths to Jesus. You know, you don't know how Jesus would reveal himself to somebody. So I'm not into excluding people. Jesus can reveal himself to anybody. Osteen answers that Jesus is the way to God. But then he qualifies this with, But I believe there are many paths to Jesus. But the Bible teaches that there's really only one path to Jesus, repentance and faith. Osteen continues with these extremely vague qualifications when he says that you know you don't know how Jesus would reveal himself to somebody what exactly does he mean the Bible teaches that Christians need to bring the good news to people so they can hear about Jesus and be saved if there's another way that people can be saved neither the Bible nor Osteen tell us about this other way also, when Osteen says, So I'm not into excluding people. He seems to suggest that we can't ultimately know if a person is not saved. But it seems clear that anyone who does not repent and believe in Jesus is not saved. All cults and man-made religions are based in work righteousness. Their adherents believe they have to do something to, to earn their way to heaven. To pray five times a day, to do good works, to lie on beds of nails, to fast or to repeat certain prayers. They do this because they are ignorant of God's standards of righteousness. The thief on the cross was saved through Masi alone. He didn't go anywhere or do anything to save himself. He could not because he was nailed to the cross. He had no other avenue but to humbly turn to Jesus and say, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Luke chapter 23, verse 42. In doing, he acknowledged Jesus as Lord and that he believed that he would rise from the dead. Romans 10, verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation is by grace alone, but it's not easy. It calls for the knowledge of the truth, repentance, and submission to Christ as Lord, and a willingness to obey His will and His word. So any works of salvation that is based on the efforts of man is doomed to failure. Why? Because God grants us salvation on the basis of Christ's merit and not our own. The only thing you and I bring to the table is the sin that made it, made it necessary. So in conclusion, there are only two religious paths, the broad way of work, salvation, leading to eternal death, and the narrow way of faith in Jesus, leading to eternal life. So if you like this um, episode, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Let us, uh, you know, engage together. Is there any topic that you guys would like us to cover? So thank you. Hope to see you on the next episode. God bless and take care.